hello in this simple video we're going to be learning how you can easily edit this photo when it comes to photoshop so in this we're just going to be learning how to do screen retouching and color grading for this very image so this is a raw file so we're just going to start with the adjustments in camera row regarding contrast and lighting so i'll simply drop the highlight slightly down and do the same for the white slightly then i'll come and open up the shadows a little bit and take the blacks down and simply add some contrast to this very image around six and slightly open up the exposure of this very image and after doing that i'll scroll down to my color grading panel and in this i'll simply try to cool down the shadows by adding a little bit of blues to the shadows just like that i feel like that is okay and after that we're simply going to come and click on open in order to open the photo in photoshop so in Photoshop, basically, we are going to be doing the skin retouch and color grading for this very image. So in Photoshop, we are going to be using frequency separation and frequency separation divides this very image into the colors and the textures. So just come to the background layer and create those two layers for frequency separation and name that to color. Double click, rename this to texture. And after renaming these layers, you are simply going to come to the color layer, turn off the texture layer. Then you are going to simply come to filter blur come to gush and blur and take the radius down click on an area on the skin that has more details and you can zoom in by using the zoom in icon and zoom in and start taking up the radius slider and stop at the point where by the details all the textures on the skin are just starting to disappear from the image click ok select the texture layer and now activate it then you're going to come to image come to apply image then the source is the name of the photo that we're trying to edit and layer select the color layer channel has to be rgb blending has to be add for a 16-bit image the scale is to offset zero and make sure you turn on the invert option click ok change this from normal and change it to linear light select both layers then press ctrl g or command g on the keyboard open up the group and select the color layer turn off the texture layer then after doing that you're just going to come and make sure we have selected the mixer brush tool and after selecting the mixer brush tool, make sure it is clean. And the second option that says clean brush after each stroke is selected with the weight of 9%, load 75, mix 90, flat 100%. Make sure sample all layers is not turned on. And after doing that, you can slightly zoom in by using Command Plus on the keyboard and start blending the skin tones. So to blend, you simply left click and hold down and you drag a brush in a given direction depending on the area that you're trying to work and blend on. So I'll do this for all the areas that have or contain skin tones mix the mid tones alone to blend the highlights alone in the shadows alone and to reduce or increase on the size of the brush tool you can use the open and close bracket keys on the keyboard so make sure you blend every area that has skin tone in order to smoothen the tones within the image and that is going to make the skin look smooth at the end of the process so just do this and take your time as you're doing this and as you're doing all this, make sure you don't zoom all the way in because when you zoom all the way in, you can't see the uneven skin tone transitions. And basically, it makes you spend a lot of time trying to retouch and blend. So make sure you retouch at a distance because here you can see everything quickly and better and you can fine tune given areas whenever you're trying to use uh, the mixer brush tool. So I'll come to the lower part of the body like the neck and try to smoothen those areas regarding skin tones i'll come to her hand right there and also blend it like that continue blending every area that you feel has or contains skin tones to create even transitions between those areas regarding the colors or the skin tones of your subject so I'll scroll down and come to the lower part of the body and also blend her legs right there. So you can see what we are having right now. And now the skin looks smooth. And we have tried to smoothen the skin. So for the fingers, you can just get a very small brush by using the square bracket keys on the keyboard and try to blend those tones in those areas. So just come and turn on the texture or high frequency layer. And this is what we have been able to achieve before, after, before, after. So after this, it is time to remove the skin imperfections or the blemishes from our models or subjective skin. 
So you can see for the settings by the for a mixer brush tool, it is a clean brush. Then this second option that says clean brush after each stroke is selected. The weight is 9, load 75, mix 90, flat 100%. Make sure as you're editing, sample orders is not checked. So it is time to remove the pimples or blemishes or acne from the skin. Select the texture layer, get the clone stamp tool, and simply make sure the hardness is set to 0. Then the mode is no more past in the flat 100%. Make sure align this check and the sample is set to current layer. And this time around, zoom all the way in by using Command plus or Control plus on the keyboard to zoom in. So to remove a given pimple or blemish, we hold down the Option key on the keyboard or you hold down the alternate key on the keyboard and left click on an area near the pimple and release the Option key on the keyboard and the left click button and left click once again over the pimple to replace it with clean skin. So you have to do this for every pimple in different areas because all these pimples are located in areas that have varying or different skin tone, color or lighting conditions on the model's skin so i'll come to the first area and i try to eliminate all these skin imperfections so take your time do this and you can see uh, the makeup artist really did a pretty nice job and the skin of the subject is also close to perfect so right now we have retouched the image and you can see the before after before after so it is not overdone. So let's try to do a little bit of color grading and color corrections regarding the skin tone. So create a stamp visible layer by pressing Shift Option Command E on the keyboard, Shift Alternate Control E on the keyboard to create a stamp visible layer. Come to the new layer icon and create an empty layer. Change the blend mode from normal to color. And after that, come and select the stamp visible layer that we created initially before. Then come to select Subject. So that Photoshop can automatically help us select the edges of the subject that we are trying to work on. And when the subject layer has been selected, come back to the empty layer and select it. Right click under the brushes, get the brush tool. And for the settings, simply make sure soft round brush is selected. And the mode is normal or past in the flat 100%. Then reduce on the size by using the bracket keys on the keyboard. Reduce on the size of the brush. You can now zoom in and sample an area. On the skin that you want the rest of the skin to look like so i'll hold down the option key on the keyboard option and left click to sample a skin tone color or a color on the skin that i want the rest of the skin tones of the subject to look like option and left click and after sampling that color i'll simply start painting over her skin just like that and in this way it is going to create even or a nice and uniform skin color or skin tone for the subject so I'll just paint just like that. I hope you can see that. Right now the skin is looking okay and better. But this is not all because sometimes we may tend to overdo this very step. So we have to always come back and recorrect or rectify the areas that have not been perfected during this step or during this kind of process. So I'll do this quickly because I don't want the tutorial to be uh, the usual long tutorials on the channel so i'll just come to the hand and also paint just like that and as you can see right now we are creating even skin tones and now the skin looks nice and uniform so i'll come to the lower part of the body and also not leave this out so paint just like that so in case you make a mistake in a given area simply get the eraser tool and uh, erase or rub out. So just get the eraser tool and erase the effect from areas that you did not want to be affected by this very process of the color grading. So you can even press B on the keyboard and get the brush once again to paint back colors in some areas that you may have missed out or left out. So I'll get the eraser tool and zoom in slightly and remove the effect from the model's eyebrows just like that. Command minus to zoom out. So in case you have overdone this, make sure that you always calm the opacity and reduce on the opacity so that it looks a little bit better, natural and highly realistic. So at about 58 or 55, it's okay. Before, after, before, after. It is not overdone, but the image now looks okay. Press Command D or Control D to deselect. So after deselecting, let's first of all perfect the colors regarding the skin tone. So just come. 
and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Then come and make sure you select the reds and come to the lightness and slightly reduce on the reds, especially within the skin tones of the subject. And this is the before after. It tries to mute or reduce on the intensity of the reds in the image. So we are simply going to come and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer, rather a selective color adjustment layer. Then come to the blacks and simply come to the science and take up the science slider. And this is going to make the blacks even more cinematic in this very image before after and reduce on the amount of magentas especially in the blacks of the image so after that let's add a little bit of glow or skin shine to the model skin so come adjustments and create two come to curves then come to this pointer take it towards the right hand side until when you feel like the skin tone is glowing or the bright areas on the skin are overexposed then right click on this layer and come to the blending options and when you come to blend option, make sure blend if you set to gray. Come to the underlying layer and drag this towards the right hand side. Until when you feel only the highlights on the skin are being affected by this effect. So after doing this, we are simply going to come and blend this into the skin. So hold down the option on the keyboard and take this right hand pointer towards the right hand side. Until when the effect is blending well or even better into the skin. Click OK. Press Command I or Control I to invert the effect. Then get the normal brush tool and after getting the normal brush tool we are simply going to come and make sure white is the foreground color or make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches and after that you can now zoom in and try to paint on the skin just like this to create a beautiful skin glow or skin shine so i'll paint on those areas that i feel should have a beautiful and rich skin glow or skin shine or even the eyes themselves to make them pop command minus or control minus before after in case it is too much remember to reduce on the opacity so that it can look a little bit better and more realistic so in case you want to play around with the colors of her outfit you can as well do that in selective color and this is close to white so just come and target the whites and play around with the magentas and see what works best for you so you can do it to your test or to your liking depending on the mode that you want to go in for so you could even make it more white or whiter so i'm just going to undo all this so i just wanted to show you guys how this is done so let's whiten the eyes of the subject come and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer and take down the saturation to around negative 80 Press Ctrl or Command I on the keyboard and zoom in with the brush tool. It is time to whiten the eye. So reduce on the size of this and paint using a white brush. Remember, white is the foreground color. So just paint using a white brush in the eyes. Ctrl minus or Command minus to zoom out. So this is where we have gotten this very image. And let me show the before after before you can save the image. This is the image before, after, before, after. It is not crazily done but it is okay and we can deliver this to a client so just come to file export and come to export as and simply save the very image so just come format jpeg quality to the maximum which is seven for this case make sure the resample is set to by cubic sharper and under color space make sure the color space is set to convert srgb and embed color profile have been checked and simply click on export in order to save or export this very image in whatever location that we want to save the image in. So this is how you can easily edit and color grade in Photoshop. And I hope you have enjoyed all of this very video. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.